Who are your top five in NBA? All right, we'll go from five. From five, I got I got Shaq. Mm. Number four, I'll probably go Tim Duncan. Damn, that's mm. mine. Number three, I got Kobe. Mm-hmm. Number two, I got Jordan. And then number one, I got... Bow, 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 bow. Oh, my God. That scared the shit out of me. Yes, sir. And we're back, man, with another great episode of We Playing Spades. I'm Desi Bank. And I'm Walker Flocker Flame. Hey, and we got a real, real special guest in the building today. He cold. Oh, my God. Real cold. Ice. Got the rappers talking about him. Ice. I'm talking about pulling up from half court from the three-point line. All that. I'm talking about not playing. We and just smirk. To- oh, my God. It's ice. Ice right. Trader. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Trey here. I brought my guy Josh with me. What's up? What's up, y'all? We here. We're about to get it done. We playing spades. All right. So we play ace high rules over here. That means ace of spade, king of spade, queen of spade, jack of spade, ten of spade. That's mm-hmm. the guys, right? Yeah. Uh, ace trumps everything in every suit, but the ace of spades trump all cards. Can't talk across the board. Then we're doing that sixth grade gestures. I mean, don't be, can't do that. Can't renege either. Get we it. ain't doing that. Yeah, you get you renege is over. And this we're playing three games. So we're winning the most these. out of three games. Okay. You know, we got 13 books. Yeah. You know what that is, though? And he got black cards for you. Black cards. What is this for? Yeah. If you renege, renege talk across the table, do anything that you're not supposed to do at the space table, you cook. And I'm going to take that from you. You're no longer black no more. Like you. saying you can't run yeah. the Hawks for, for us. Yeah. We taking that. So you ain't got to worry about that. Yeah. Yeah, you you know, we ain't worried. We, we know you nation. Right. We ain't every tripping. time I come to the game, you got to give me your jersey every time. Can't get nobody else. Okay. Yep. Bet. That's a bet? That's a bet. Ooh. If I read it, that's a bet. How you been, man? What's been going on, man? Man, I've been really just all season, really just all season. I, I stick to grinding. Been in L.A. really most of the summer chilling. And um, I mean, I'm just not getting back here and getting back into things. I ain't gonna lie, I kind of got scared when I saw you in LA. I was like, I know he's not um, about to leave us. I was like, don't do it. Nah, know. bro. I was like, don't you do this. You know, that's just how the yeah, people know. people assume I, things. I, but I, I know you seen that too. People talking about it. Yeah, I seen it. I okay. seen it. But I'm just, I'm, I'm stick. That's, I've been doing that every summer since I've been okay getting to the league. Even my going into the the draft. That's like, that's that's where I was at training. So. I'm just, I just feel comfortable out there. And everybody's out there. It's so like when you see guys in runs and stuff, that's where we can get in some runs. And First question, man, we gonna, you know, what was your inspiration, man? For me, my inspiration was my grandfather, my grandfather who passed when I was 10. So uh, just being around him, being around the game. My dad played, so I was always always around the game. So, um, but yeah, no, nah, I was just, he's always been my, my inspiration. He's the person I pray, pray to before I, the game starts and you see me walking to the corner. That's what I, that's who I'm talking to. Oh, so. Fire. so did you always know you was gonna make it to the NBA? Um, nah, I didn't. I didn't know that until really. I mean, obviously, I'm, I was a McDonald's All American, but there was guys that were already projected. Um, like if you looked on draft boards, freshman guys were already projected to go into the league. I was. I had to go into college and kind of earn earn my way. So I just. Kind of had to work my way to 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 be who I am. So like when I was playing in college, I kind of put myself on that stage to be a, a one and done. Yeah. So and the levels the levels of it is like crazy. Like how does that feel from like going from college to the NBA and just the atmosphere? You know what does the atmosphere do to you, man? Like you know, it's it's different. Like I mean, college atmosphere is different. It's crazy. Like I mean. No, nah, it's a difference. It's like I got drafted at 19, so I'm coming into a league like it's grown men. So and I'm top five pick. I mean, expected to be like a franchise guy. So I got to kind of like speed up the learning process on on what I need to do because I'm trying to trying to take it over when I get there. So um, that was a big adjustment coming in was, was having to adjust the age gap. Like coming in, I wanted to – Leave my mark early and set my set the stage early. Yeah, but that's how that's how it is. Nah, no, for sure, nah, no, for sure. Cause you you top now. You top in the game right now. All right, all right. Come on now. Let me lock in. Yeah, see yeah, what yeah, you're yeah. doing. Yeah, now you know what we doing. We winning. <laughs> that's what we do. Yeah, we got save books. Yeah, don't worry about what we doing over here. Right, you better. But Where you from? Uh, three. Okay, um, okay. I'm from. A, I'm from. I was born in Lubbock, Texas, and I grew up in like Norman, Oklahoma. You know, you playing for the Atlanta Hawks, man. 
Do you feel the culture around you, man? Do you feel like the game has changed from how it used to be back in the day to now? You know, like you say, I mean, you got rappers rapping about you. Yeah, you know, nah. Things. Like, how you feel about that? It's, it's really cool. Like, I mean, for me, like, I knew about, like, the Hawks back in the day. Like, I mean, when they won them 60, 60 games in a season, like, they were good. That's us? But, like, I just felt like, no, nah, it's us. But I just felt like it was never the same, like. Um, Man, you got that. Like, the energy. When, when I got here, John was here, like. Just from throwing lobs and all that stuff, like it's wow. Uh, no! That nine and diamond walk. That's, that's cool. That, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. cool. No, we got a team. We gotta run it back. Yeah. Oh no, we're gonna run it back. Yeah, yeah. But we just won. We up one. We just okay. up, let's go. Damn. Yeah, see what, yeah, I know it. Yeah, I know it. I know it. Yeah, you can't. Two, two in a row. Two, two in a row ain't nothing. That's easy for us, though. What you mean? Two in a row? We don't get two in a row. He got a lot of confidence. A great confidence. This fella right here. You help. You help. A lot of great confidence. I like him. I like him. That's crazy. Like I said, I haven't seen him smile yet. I don't think he's going to smile I threw a bad pass. Two in a row right here. We got it. Oh, I like this kid. Yeah. Where you find him at? Where you know him Norman, Oklahoma. Norman, Oklahoma. You been to Norman before? No, I never. Did. I love Norman. Never been yeah. Been yeah. OKC. Yeah. I've been OKC. Yeah. I've been OKC. Yeah. That's like 15, uh, yeah. 15, 20 minutes from, from Norman. OK, yeah. well, I've been there. So that's like the University of Oklahoma? OK. Yeah. That's where Norman is. Hey, what city go. fan base that you hate playing for the most? They don't talk about they just talk the most. I mean, obviously, when we play the Knicks, it's always crazy. Philly is oh, like really the basketball cities in the Northeast, like New York. Um, Philly, Boston, like those cities are always like crazy just because like they they know their basketball and they're like those fans are like still like like rowdy and cheering for their team. But at the same time, they're not just they'll boo their team, too, if we cooking them. Like that's why it's always fun <laughs> playing up there. So I think that's the difference in playing up there and playing in, in other places. You know, you know, I think you be y'all both when y'all play, y'all go crazy. You and Tatum, bro. You and Taylor oh, yeah. go back and forth. It, it'd be crazy. No, nah, it was the crazy thing. is We've known each other since, like, high school. We, oh, like, nice. One of the biggest games that kind of blew me up is when we played against them in uh, the EYBL. I got some big offers after that game, like Kentucky and things like that, like, after my junior year. We had a guy, you know Michael Porter, mm. uh, who plays for Denver. That was, like, a big matchup. He was number one player. In our class, and then it was matching up with wow. Jason. Wow. Every coach in America was there, and everybody who was wanting to see basketball in high school was there. So, <laughs> yeah. So we've known each other since then, like going to camps and things like that. So it's kind of cool, like when we around each other. Who, who you feel like the toughest player that you ever like? You was like, man, it's it's it's. Yeah, nobody like, be talking about it, on the internet. Yeah, we talking about like, like like honestly, like you be like yo, bro, he really a, yeah, he really be bringing that defense or that uh, game. Uh, I mean. Man, there's a lot. That's I mean, feel. there's some there's some really good dudes. Like some a really underrated player that I hate playing against is Mike Conley. Mm. Like a lot of people talk about, he's already an underrated player. He's just smart. He's an OG veteran. Like he's just left a lefty. Like like super quick can shoot it. Does like he's really good at like everything. So ever since I was a rookie, I'm like shit. We play them. It's like you really got to be locked in because he's so smart when you play. So. Kyrie is probably the toughest dude I've had to. Oh, that's fire! Yeah, to ever guard. You really like that? Yeah, yeah. He sounds like he's so focused, man. Like, yeah. Nah, he's. <sighs> Boom! He's like that. Boom! That's a, Look at that. That's, that's some. Cra that's some crazy <laughs> talking though. That's crazy talking though. <laughs> That's crazy. That's, I mean, we ain't gonna talk about that though. That's crazy <laughs> Yo, communication. No, no, nah, nah, we ain't that. Uh -uh. That's communication though. That Whoa. little. The little. The. No, you talking about Kyrie. I'm not like, picking up on it. Nah, 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 we picking up on it now. <laughs> bro, I'm one of my, I'm I'm one of my favorite basketball players, bro. You think I ain't gonna be excited, bro? Yeah, that's crazy. Just because nigga walk a fuck, bro. It's Trey Young, bro. We are so happy you're in that presence right now. I see it though. Just you know how many you parlays we won because of you, bro? Come on, man. For, for real, for real. You know how many times I done looked? I've been on the side and I'm like, Trey, come and give me your jersey, please. <laughs> and you didn't look my way and I was like, he not looking. For real? He did it to me, though. He, yeah. he, he, talk, he wouldn't talk to 2 James. I'm like, damn, yeah, he, I yeah. fought with 2 James from the same <laughs> side. I, I, even the kids, little kids. I nah. want to go take the jersey from the kids. Nah, Samuel Jackson was there. He went straight to Samuel. I'm like, <laughs> nah, I can't even come I'm back screaming to next game. time. I'm going to scream. I'm going to say, Trey. Look this way. Bro, next time I'm going to see y'all, I'm going to have jerseys for both y'all. Yes. I'm going to make sure. 
Get away. Be, and y'all be acting like I don't come say what's up. Nah, we you, must yeah, have lost. Nah, 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 you always say what's up. Nah, nah, you always say what's up. You always say what's up. For sure, for sure. So how is it playing against LeBron, though? LeBron, LeBron seemed like the type, like, you was trying to help. He'll like be a try to be a, a LeBron can't hold a player him. and like a a father coach. Like he'll tell you like, look, Jay, you need to you need to. I, I saw that, but you need to do this. Yeah. I mean, he ever came to you and <laughs> <laughs> like look good. But you I, need, I, don't I do it with the left hand to the right hand. Nah, he ain't. I mean, damn, that's a good. He ain't man. on my team. He ain't on. I ain't never played with him, but just from hearing him again, like how he talks to his team, he could be like that. He never came to you about anything? No, nah, I mean, it's always just asking how I'm doing, oh, yeah. checking on me, like, Fire. give me, I mean, Same. tell me yeah, keep going. The Uncle Vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. If they all right. Yeah. yeah. I saw what you did the other night. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you, yeah, I know you dropped 30, but you need try to do 35 next time. Hey, Trey, I like what you did in the bubble. <laughs> They try to get you to go to the strip club, but you ain't go. You was yeah. working out. You smart kid. <laughs> yeah. I was in the other room. Yeah, you went to the Braves game instead. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> and we walking y'all, bro. Yeah, this, I know, know this is really ahead. like that's insane. Yeah, they, they get put to bed. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this yeah. You get put to bed. You know how you get a whipping when you was a kid and you get sleepy. Yeah, you, just, yeah, you cry to sleep. Yeah. What is the most like one of the most craziest things that's not it ain't no damn secret, but it's one of the things that you gotta find out when you get there that you probably could say to a kid that's trying to get there. What kind of player do you want to be? Like, when you envision yourself as an NBA player, what do you envision yourself being? Like, for me, I didn't know, like, I always wanted to be, like, a top five pick, a franchise player, whatever. But I didn't know, like, what it took to get there when it came to, like, when you're, you're, you're being built up. Like, they build you up, and then they scrutinize you, and, like, all the, the, the other side that comes with it, like, the mental side, like, having to be strong that way too. Like a lot of people, like, a lot of people don't have to go through that. I think it's the top guys. Like, and even, I mean, I feel like every NBA player does, but like a role player doesn't necessarily have to deal with that as much as a franchise leader. And I think you as a player, as a person, got to decide on what you want to be on. Like, if you want to be that, like you got to understand what kind of role and effect that comes with it. Man, I ain't gonna lie, Trey, bro. Bro, I knew you were feeling that shit, bro. When they were talking about you with the Hawks, when we wasn't really got, we had that one little downtime, but we was up and down. They are like, oh, man, we need, a, we need to just build a new team. I'm like, what? Yeah. Hell no. Nah. I'm going to hit that Hey, hey, hey. And Don't get rid of him, yeah, him. Please, him. Please, what are y'all doing, please, bro? <laughs> nah. Well, I mean, going through, like, them first couple of seasons was tough for me. Like, I even, I even eventually had meetings and, like, with people up top and stuff, like, because they all seen the frustration on my face and, uh, like frustration, like in the locker rooms or whatever. And it was just basically just off of just me wanting to win. And so like when we weren't winning and I was still like, I felt like I was playing hard and I was doing my thing and the city was excited and stuff. I was an all-star and all that stuff. But, like I really wanted to play in the playoffs and get to that next level. So then get, they brought in Gallo, they brought in Bogey, like we got Clint, like then I got some guys around me and then that next year we go to the Eastern Conference Finals, like, yeah. and I wasn't even an All Star, so yeah. like, and I didn't even care. Like, oh, that shit though. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah. You know, what you mean? I'm just saying. So that was the main thing. I was, I was, I was at some of those games too, what? man. Oh, man, what? Those games were crazy. And it, um, was we playing the Bucks? What was yeah. we was playing the Bucks? But you was hurt. Was you out? Yeah, I got, I got hurt. I, I got said, hurt in the bro, Bucks who'd had, bro, if we'd have had you, bro. Whole different story. Bro, yeah. who'd have went to the championship, bro? Yeah, we was up two. I think we were up two one two in that one. series, yeah. and then I got hurt in game four. Yes, and we were up when I got hurt. And I, uh, I said, "Damn." Yeah, nah. I said, "Damn." The whole city said, "Damn." Yeah, yeah it was like crazy. It was crazy. Bro. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. Like the way you play basketball, I could tell you actually love basketball for sure. Mm -hmm. Like that's that's good. And what, what I could say as a fan looking from the outside in, what people could probably learn from you the most is you never got soaked into what you became. You always soaked into the game of basketball. And I, I respect that. I'm just telling you that from looking nah, on the outside. I appreciate man. that. Mm -hmm. So a guy like you, bro, like, phew, that's like. <sighs> yeah. I think, like, as a fan, I'm telling you, bro, like, for you, I think, like, mentally, you got to get in it. Uh, it's your go, buddy. No, it's me. How you, you get the like that? Right there, man. You keep that same line, right? You ever see that line? <laughs> that line. I don't know what that line is. <laughs> He got to have that line. Man, I've had he never got How long have I had this? I've probably had this since I was in, like, right, right. sophomore, freshman high school. High school. I told you, it's that line. <laughs> we never it. seen what I the line. Mm -hmm. Something wrong. Yeah. Something wrong. No, nah, he line. like ball. That's a line. That's a basketball yeah. line. You, you can beat a, that? That's a... Nah. Uh, that's a... Can't nothing beat that. Yeah, oh, oh, Jesus Christ. 
Y'all oh, get ran. I ain't gonna lie. Do y'all see what's going Dang. on? Dang. Oh, y'all got that last one, though. Got that last you got one. that? Got that last one. I respect yeah, Congratulations. So, what are we? What is it? Yeah, it's up to. We up to, though. 2 0, man. Oh, that's. <laughs> <laughs> we just gonna keep it interesting. We ain't gonna. Yeah, we gotta keep going. Gotta keep yeah, at this at this point we playing at least a third game. Damn, hey, I should have betted that we gonna beat y'all to get the. Yeah. Now how we we gotta put some we gotta put someone on the line on this one. Oh, we gonna put someone on the line? Do this? Yeah, that's that's only gonna turn it up. That's I put a hundred on it. I put a hundred up for my boy. What's up? I'm sorry, Trey. I don't gamble. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't gamble at all. I feel like the only thing I gamble on is. Spades, 2K. See, that's what, what do I always so let's say? Let's put that 100 up, baby. Let's do that. <laughs> See you later. What rookie do you think will make the biggest impact? Obviously, Kobe Bufkin from, from Michigan. Uh, he was our, our highest draft pick. But this, this kid out of Washington State, his name is Mo Gay. Tough. He's he cold. He's cold. And I, th I feel like a lot of, a lot of people are going to. He hasn't been playing basketball for very long, and you can tell. But the skinny like, guy? Skinny. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. He's fine. He, he's going to be really good, so I can't wait for people to watch him. Word. You think about KD? We grew up in OKC, so we done like. Oh, man, man the finals games was crazy. Bro, bro when the hey, that's, your friend, that's, your, was, that's your best friend? Of all time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hold on, brother. You can't do that. What that's you mean? you supposed to say. He, your, he nah, that's fake. already uh, understood, though. Yeah, nah, that's, that's already understood. understood. I don't like, care. Besides, we, we record, besides right? ice. You to say besides this ice, on, KD, dude. The besides don't ice. Ever in life disrespect the people your know. Friend. The people know, though. On camera. The people know, though. We'll say it now. Trey is my favorite player of all time. Thank you. Thank you so much. But. But besides Trey, it's got to be Ke okay. Kevin Durant. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Can't, can't be nobody, else. Shit, nobody else. Yeah. Nah, yeah, the fact that K is different. How y'all feel uh, college players and high school players being paid to play? Yeah, it's crazy. It's tough. I can. I mean, I wish I was. I mean, I think it's pros and cons that I didn't yeah. have to go through it. <laughs> like I feel like when you get that type of money or you get that type of success early, sometimes I feel like these kids don't yeah. may or may not understand like. That's just temporary money. Like as mm. as big as it is for these high school kids and college kids getting, I mean, I mean some of them getting hundreds of thousands of dollars. Like, I mean that's cool and that's big. That's but pizza like, for the rest of the year, boy. Yeah, but Dang, if chicken till the day, well, <laughs> but, on campus, but, get them till but that can also that can also like stunt your like wanting oh. to wanting to wanting to get more. You know what I'm saying? Like I think that's the only thing I fear. Like. My little brother's about to go through that, so I don't. And he's 13. I know he's gonna have to deal with that, and that's my only. That's my only fear with that type of thing. It's like, I'm, like there's more out there, so don't don't be satisfied. How's Murray, man? It's your go to. How, how is it? Oh, how do you my guys be? You know, both of y'all like star players on the team. How do y'all find that compromisation? Like, you know, uh, I, when it comes to I don't know, man. Trey, Trey got Murray shining. Of course, Sorry. I, yeah, I know you know you Trey, but you know. It's, yeah, but he's still DJ too. Like, yeah, yeah, for sure. Like, I think that's that's something that we both we both talked about mm -hmm. when he came over. Like, I mean, it's 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 cool having him as a teammate. I think the second year we're gonna be able to show people what we yeah what we've been talking about doing for for a while. So he's just like me in a lot of ways. Like, he's a family man. Like, when it comes to ball, like, he's ready to play. Like, we we got a lot of things in common. And I think that we. Or the reason why we're gonna have success going forward. So we just needed a year, year to get under our belt, and then going forward, we're gonna be straight. You are um thought about doing like a camp, you know, for like the youth. I know you say you be at um what is it OT? I'll be at OT. Yeah, OT. Uh, no, nah, I've, I've like I've done camps here before. For me, I want to do like some something big, like here in these next couple summers, like a big camp and like something with my brand with Adidas and stuff. Nice. And so uh, I got some stuff I want to do. These next couple summers, I got some stuff I want to do for Atlanta for sure. If we win, you gonna give us some shoes? Can we? Can we just make that right here? And, and we? Yeah. If y'all okay. if y'all win this, I'll, I can get y'all some shoes regardless. But if y'all win this, we can put that on the line too. Okay, bet. Okay. You guys just put a uh, Desi and Walker. For sure, on the shoe. Whoa, okay. my ass on episode. <laughs> wow. <laughs> in Spain. Nah, we in Spain. Nah, nah, fast. <laughs> so yes, this segment is called Renee. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the question is, what's a moment in your life? You got caught doing something that you shouldn't. Or you just like, oh, shit. Ooh. What the hell just happened? Bro, Trey don't get in trouble, bro. He just got caught eating pizza at night. 
He was a good guy. Bro. Trey Young might be. Have you, ever, have you ever been in trouble, Trey? No, bro. He didn't. Man, he was, I've been, he, he I've been like in he trouble. Like that, that nice, that nice, that nice. No, I, I got in trouble for sure. I mean, I got in trouble for sure with my dad playing a game with. Yeah. It was probably on some like on some kids stuff though. Like I remember one time in the wild, I got I got so mad at my dad that he beat me in ones and he wanted to leave. I said, "No, nah, run it back," and he was just telling me, "Nah, like he wants me to sit on my L, oh, like that I'd be losing." So he wanted to leave, and I said, "No, nah, f that." That was the first time I ever cussed at my dad. I was like, "No, nah, fuck that!" Like <laughs> we playing, I punted the ball. I kicked and I almost broke like one of the, the the lights in the ceiling. Yeah, and then ran went onto the track in the in the gym. And I was like, oh shit! When I'm in the car, like driving, you know, you guys sit in that car, <laughs> yeah, that car 15, right 20 minute drive. <laughs> it's like, like right. it's crawling on it. <laughs> like you know, like when you get home, you about to yeah yeah. It's over. It's over. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I was, I was that was the one day. That's yeah. a good father, man. I, I would like to dap your pops up, man. <laughs> yeah, you, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna tell you something, right? That was a Ill, that was an ill lesson to teach you as you're, to teach somebody how to sit with a loss. That's deep. Oh yeah. Some people can't hold those L's. So now we know why you get mad when you lose. Cause, bro, yeah. you be mad, oh, bro. Yeah. Bro, you be mad when you taking on L's in the NBA. What is your um, pregame warm up? Who you listen like? What's who your favorite rapper? Like do you got Lil John. Uh, uh, do you meditate? Do you you know what? What do you do when you get ready for the game? Um. I mean, I mix it up. I mean, I listen to Slow Jams. I listen to um, Drake. I mean, I listen to <laughs> Baby. I listen to Hundred Dollars. We about to just yeah, we just got yeah, right. <laughs> I listen to all that. See, that's what happens when money's on the line. You <laughs> really got to You really lock in. It's just a missed deal. Nah, that ace. That ace. He picked it from the book. Away. It was a missed deal. Nah. Nah. Nope. You know what? You're right. That was. Ah, uh, we gotta really do this. One, mm. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to five. Good game, fellas. Game. That's the game that mattered, too. That's what's yeah, crazy. That was a big game. They, they won. Fuck it. <laughs> we won the game. What they, matters? They won the money. The gamblers won. We won the actual game. Which one important? <laughs> huh? Which one is important? Uh, my integrity. <laughs> <laughs> Still got some shoes for y'all. I got Thank my jerseys so for y'all coming. So I'm going to make sure we get it to you. I get you some. Yes, but before you go, man, um, you know, young players is out there, youth that's out there. What's some advice that you can give them? you know, who have NBA dreams or, you know, just going to big college or whatever it is, man, uh, you know. Man, like, for me, like, the one advice I would give is just, like, if you if you want it and you, like, this is your dream, like, I remember my dad telling me, like, live every day like a pro. Like, I, I remember treating my eighth grade year, my sixth grade year like a pro. Mm -hmm. Like, whether it was going to bed earlier, getting getting my work in, making sure I, I did my work before I played the video games. Like, I treated everything like a pro. Like, so if you really want to be a pro, like, you got to you gotta start early and dedicate yourself early because it's, it's only been, they say, like, five, around 5,000 people that's played in the NBA ever. Wow. So it's so hard to get to the NBA. Yeah, I was one of those guys that thought I was NBA and it didn't work. So. But, you know, but, like, but that just shows how hard it is to get there. Uh, so it's not, it's not, definitely it's not a knock on anybody who hasn't made it because there's so many other leagues out there. But this is, it's so hard to get there. So if you want to be a part of that elite few, you got you to gotta make certain sacrifices that only elite few going to make. So For sure. That's, that's my and, and what are some of the sacrifices you felt like you made? to get to that 5,000? I mean, for me, like, when it came to, like, hanging out with friends, like, I think that was, like, my friends that are with me now in this room, like, I mean, I, I was cool with them and I would see them a lot, but really I was at the gym or at the house with my, my mm -hmm. parents, like, I mean, I was watching games, I was... I mean, I wasn't doing too he much. Got, I was playing video bad. games. Like, no, I was for sure. Mm -hmm. And he had dreams. That boy wanted to go yeah. to the league. If I could tell you something, lead you with something, Trey... Don't live with no revenge ever in your life. Because a guy like you, revenge is the only thing that got you in trouble in your life. And you don't even have to answer yes because you know it's real. Mm -hmm. And I asked one thing, could your father write a book on how to parent a, a kid going into the league? Mm. If he ever did that, I think that would be real helpful for a lot of people. I'm bringing an idea to it, for sure. Yeah. I got you. Because whatever he did, yeah. well, I my appreciate boy, it worked. It, worked I did, out, it was sure. just the sacrifices, bro. It was like, for me, I just I was okay with making certain sacrifices, like praying and, and putting in the work that I would they would pay off in the end. So We don't understand how important it is to elaborate on what you said and actually give an example with, when you elaborate. Because I'm telling you, your kids is reading it. I was mm -hmm. one of them. Like, mm -hmm. I, like, a book that changed my life was Outwitting the Devil by Napoleon Hill. 
He'll tell you what what the same shit we talk about and give you an example and red writing on the side. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, it helped, it helped me out my whole entire life. Nice. I'm just like a little nerd and shit. I like books. Yeah. <laughs> well, I want to know. I, I'm sure Walker would want to know this too. You in the league, man. Of course, you, you. But who are your top five in the NBA all time? All time? All right, we'll go from five. From five, I got, I got Shaq. Mm. Number four, I'll probably go Tim Duncan. Mm. Number three, I got Kobe. Mm -hmm. Number two, I got Jordan. And then number one, I got Braun. Mm. But I got really, I got Braun and Jordan, and they, so they on tier, like, they two go in different times of era. Like, the game's totally different now. You don't, a lot of people like to judge on how the game is played, like, who would play in what era and what they would do. Like, mm -hmm. that, that, uh, I mean, that's probably my only, my, my only debate between them two. But I think it's them, them five. I got Braun, Jordan, Kobe, Tim Duncan, and dang. See, I, I really want to put Steph there. Oh, I, oh. I really want to put Steph mm. there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, but it's probably it's probably Tim Duncan. Steph yeah. is like six or five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I mean, I'm missing Magic though too. So people are gonna Nigga, kill me from from Magic. How how was that? How was that Steph matchup? Because I know y'all. I know that was some real. It's it's always a battle. Like yeah. it's it's different because like we always like in today's game like. PGs guard each other, but like it's more they put their best defender yeah. on me, and then we put our best defender on him. Like we got guys that are strictly here to just do that and like try to stop their their best player, and they try to do the same vice versa. So yes, it's always a battle. Like we always both really, really. I mean, so they put Draymond well. Green on you. Uh, who they be putting? They be no, nah, they be putting their other wings. I mean, Draymond he'll switch out onto me, but. Draymond be talking. What about talking Pat Beverly, bro? Draymond be talking crazy. <laughs> what about Pat Beverly, bro? Man, Pat, I mean, Pat's a dog. We've had a couple battles. I mean, he's been injured a lot when we play each other, unfortunately. But, I mean, he's a dog. I mean, I, I play pretty well. We play against him. I mean, I ain't got, I ain't got nothing but respect for him. I know, man. You, you one of them players that they be like, hey, just let him score. <laughs> like, bro, you can't stop him. Just let him score. Let's stop it, everybody else. Nah, fact. I, I got a question. Like, speaking of Kobe, do you feel like they, they still talk about him enough? Oh, yes and no. You definitely celebrate it. Like, you definitely celebrate him. You just, I, I don't know. I think it's tough. Like, you risk, I mean, it's hard to, like, celebrate him as much as you really would if he was yeah. here. So, yeah. you celebrate him as much as you can. Yeah. He's a legend, so. For sure. Regardless if anybody talks about him. Big Who? Fan. Ain't nobody, I ain't never my life here nobody say Kobe ain't good. Man, I ain't in my life of living. I'm not even joking. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. I have not heard one person say Kobe Bryant ain't yeah, good. Yeah, for sure, for sure. You know, you had a lot of people that hated him too, Doc. Yeah, I was a Kobe hater. Cause he always beat my team. <laughs> not because of him. I'm like, damn, man. You, you, you a different, you a different type of hater. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, man. Yeah, Yo, as soon as Kobe got, <laughs> like, cut this shit off, man. Like, you know, Kobe finna go crazy. So yes, um, this part of the show is called "Put Your Bid In." How do you see the Hawks doing this shit? You know, we excited. We're going to be really good. Like, I mean, for me, like, I hate I hate talking about it. I want to go out there and just show it. But, uh, like, I've never, I've never been back in Atlanta on my birthday. Like, and for me to be here, like, excited, the whole team is here already. Like, we're early working out together, doing different things. So, like, this is a different type of vibe that, like, I feel like we're in right now. And I'm excited for it. So, I'm ready for it. Yes, sir, and that's it, man. I want to say, man, thank you, Trey Young, man, for pulling up and getting your, get that butt whipping. You know, um, we playing space, man. I'm Desi Banks. I'm Walker Flocker Flame. And make sure you stay tuned for the next episode to see who about to get their butt whooped next. On We Playing Space Squad. Ah.